In three, two, one, and off we go. Now, there will be a bit of a, an interesting situation here. We're going to be forced to have a, a little bit of delay. We will, I going to, we are going to endeavor to try and bring uh, the, um, uh, the capture card back, the live observing uh, for CL, but unfortunately, we, we may not be able to do that for a little while. So there is going to be a delay on the stream. Don't worry if it does get, uh, if it does get, um, uh, it's it CL that we have to watch from the stream. That's second, correct. Right? Yeah, CL, okay. not lock. Yeah, I was so, the other way around. So, guys, uh, the reason that you saw CL waiting there is because there's a delay on their stream, and we're watching from the stream perspective now, not the the live the live viewers. Depot was just saying. So they're not they're not actually they didn't just wait ten seconds for no reason. They're they're starting at the same time. It's just we we're seeing the delay on their stream, and we're not seeing the delay on lock. So, so you can yeah. So by the way, what's what's all this about the uh, the other issue? Am I going to be spoiling stuff if I freak out instantly? Am um, I going to put a Roy? Just here? watch. <laughs> Whoa! Hey now, what do you mean pull a Roy? Put uh, a Roy. Watch, am I going to you know, spoil? The big well, stuff? just just watch the streams, yeah. then we can we can all we, we can all experience yeah. it together, right? We can experience right, it together. The, uh, uh, or if you use the lock perspective, together. I think because okay. you're not watching the stream for lock, are you, Tipa? Um, no, no, I'm not. Uh, lock also yeah. had, had a DC, I think. They've had a disconnect. Oh. By the looks of that, which is. Yeah, that's that's not Ooh, good. In fact, the leader, yeah, the commander is gone. Oh wait, and and a fear. One of their players has been feared. Oh, does be able to, is able to escape there though. He's able to wriggle away. I mean, I mean, CL is going to be going ahead and taking a bit of a lead here, as I you know I imagine that you know having an extra player is always good. I mean, DC, you don't want to be disconnected, guys. Lock leader has been vanquished, and they're yeah. As a result, I think they're adapting over to a bit of a safer strat to try and stay in contention. That player has returned, though. Just a weird round DC. It happens, guys. It really does happen. Uh, it's unfortunate, but CL standing firm here, eating another mushroom with their slobbing. A slightly different eating pattern actually that we've seen before. Some of the other guilds did a more aggressive. Um, uh, what, where they take less pattern. mushrooms, or because there's different ways you can treat the room, right? Oh, actually, no. Not everyone's... Sorry? I, no, I, I, got, I got completely memed. They are doing the exact same thing that everyone else is doing. So, oh, are they? yeah, what, 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 they, what they are doing is um, they instead of going around the room, right, they're kind of eating um, almost like to and from, right? So the first mushroom clears out this side, and then the second mushroom just clears a small space right next to it, right? And then they are hoping to actually kill uh, the boss right next to, uh, you know, Before right next to where fight. they are, yeah, without moving at all. So completely circumventing how the fight is actually supposed to be done here. So, and CL is doing a very good job, actually, with, like, incredibly high DPS output um, yeah, from these players. they pulled way ahead there. They pulled way ahead in this moment of the fight. Hmm, yeah. And the Scourges, they are keeping uh, Lock in this. They're keeping them alive, but it's uh, not really helping them versus the sheer damage up with a big, big burst coming up from CL here. And CL is going to get the job done very, very shortly. Just another break bar. Now, they have, they are on a little bit of thin ice. You'll notice they have very little space. They're on this little island of safety yeah. in an ocean of mushrooms. Uh, but I think they're going to be able to get away with it. Because they can obviously just barrier up, right? And they can just make sure that any, like, like they can probably tank the floor for a good while. No? Oh yeah! If, oh yeah! They could probably yeah. get away with it. Yeah, they could. They could certainly do a little bit, right? Um, um, especially with you know all the healing output that they have. They, you know, both teams could probably get away with it temporarily, but not for long. The floor damage rate does start to stack up, especially with uh, the poison application, right? reducing the healing, uh, the healing output um, of the team, and difficult because it just keeps reapplying. But yeah, you, you wouldn't have long, but you would have some time. That's for sure. Yeah. And now see how they trio. Yeah, CL's actually way ahead getting to Ooh. trio here, so Ooh. DH definitely a nicer call here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, uh indeed. Oh, the nightmare. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. Like, I, Locke is having a, a very rough tournament. I, I, you know, I hate to say it. They have been, uh, they, they have been defeated, unfortunately. Okay, and I have some excellent news for you. Let's go into the future. With the live right. spectate working once again. <laughs> shout out to right. my observer. My, you know, while we're in Bandit Trio, we have a little bit of downtime. I do want to give a massive shout out uh, to Jerna and Madam, my loyal spectators who have been at it the entire time. No breaks. Even Roy has been slacking off a little bit, but these guys have not. They've been going what? at it the entire what? time. Okay, the entire time. High energy, pressing buttons. Oh, Roy's been adminning the entire time as well, actually. Yeah, so. I don't know if I'd take yeah. that, Roy. Oh, yeah. yeah well. I, you know what? I quit. You don't pay me enough for this. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I don't pay you anything. I mean, that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I show your I show your Twitch stream every day, and this is what I get. Yeah, this is what you get. Okay, you get replaced by wooden potatoes, man. Okay, I you're warned you. Paid in, what is it they call it? You're exposure. Paid in, like, 
Exposure, that's it, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice exposure box. You can price on exposure. Oh, you can't. No, you really can't. To be, to be honest, I would replace me with wooden potatoes, too. That man is mother... Oh, well, well, there you go. I'm telling you, that's a step down, Roy. you gotta, you got to keep it going and with the actual raid information. Otherwise, I'm Actually, just going to be sitting here asking, like, basic questions about... Okay, so what? how's power creep affect did, Trio? Did, did, <laughs> did you not listen to my cast? That's all I did. Uh, Teapot is literally m the wiki for me. That's 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 how these casts, you know. <laughs> but uh, you know what? Wooden potatoes. That is an, that is an excellent point. And and you know, it's you see you see the the epitome of raiding mechanics really being displayed here on the Bandit Trio. It's it's one of the hardest encounters Ooh, in all raid wings. It's scary. And, uh, <laughs> it's it's where people will die. I mean, those wargs, If you don't, if you let them, they will down you. And the cage, the cage can die. That's true. It can true. be destroyed, yeah. and then you wipe. Yeah. We well, have so. I've never seen serious. that. Happen. What What is the biggest threat with regard to no downstate here? It's obviously the last phase, so you're just making sure you save the wargs to get as much help right at the end, and yep. otherwise treat it like a standard clear, right? Like it doesn't matter that you're nine man. It doesn't really matter that you know it's such a punishing downstate as long as you're careful. Because obviously you can get sniped if you don't line a sight correctly, right? If you don't pull them together correctly. Correctly. Yep. But there is high pressure here if you're in the wrong position. Oh yeah. The, if a lot of ads turn on you, you can you can die very easy, especially when you're on a squishy class like a dragon hunter, right? Like you can just fall over. You know, you get tickled and you fall over. But yeah, you, you're absolutely right. Like the main thing that CL is going to be looking to optimize here is killing Norella. And of course, because killing Zane quickly does nothing, uh, as you say, right? They're going to save every single warg, right, and then release them all at the same time as Norella spawns in the hope that some of them will latch onto her and take a few chunks, right? They will uh, do yeah. very significant damage to not only the banners, but also her as well. And I love around. the idea of someone failing at mortars here, right? Ooh, <laughs> they unfortunately, rallying. talking about failing, looking at CL, they're not having a great time with their second, sorry, lock, not having a great time with their second attempt on Sloth, already three dead, and it looks like maybe a fourth as the Necro's going so low. And if they wipe here, with Escort, or sorry, Trio, just about done for CL. I don't know. So if, Not looking very good. If you're Lock right now, what's your best decision that you can make here? Just try again, same composition, or would you change like one crucial part here? Uh, I think you just try and do it. You try and kill it right yeah, now. Like you, you've got to persist. Like they have, they have six players that might be about to become five though. One player getting terrifyingly low uh, for Lock. They yeah. looks like they're able to get their heal. But yeah, I think I think you still go for it. It's still very much doable. Um, losing three players is very unfortunate. It's only twenty percent, and um, I, I think wiping is. I, uh, in theory, as long as they play, as long as they play correctly, they should not wipe here. Yeah. It should be okay. They have, they still have quite a safe comp. They need to dodge the shake though. The shake, no, that's another oh, downside. No, the shake is not dodged. Oh, another two downside. No, no lock is digging a hole right here. They are digging a grave. They have man. one more bar to get through here as well. If they, with four players. It's about to be no, three though. And no, the chrono no, might no, make no, it no, two. No. It's over. It's I don't over. Think so. Oh, it's over. It's completely over, dude. It is over as fuck. This is a 40 minute sloth right here, dude. That's what that is. Now, CL. You gotta hope that CL is really bad at, at Matthias. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really bad. Their only weakness is Matthias. I mean, well, who knows? <laughs> Sloth couldn't stop them. The Bandit Trio couldn't. Can Matthias? Whoa. Let's find out. You know, it, it, Matthias is one of those bosses that is really scary, especially with no downside. Like WP was asking about scary yeah. stuff with no downside. Matthias is probably one of the scarier bosses to do with no downside. There's a lot of stuff that will put you on your ass very, very quickly, especially if you're running for an, an aggressive comp. Now, honestly, one of the saving graces in Matthias that kind of keeps it from being a total feeding frenzy, in my opinion, is the presence of, um, is the presence of a boon thief, right? If you yeah. have that boon thief, it just locks it down, right? Is what? that because of resist uptime versus, you know, the constant poison reapplication and whatnot? Resistance stability as well, so you can't trip over. Uh, you know, when in oh, the storm yeah. phase is really nice, you don't kill each other with uh, the circles, yeah. Resistance to counter the conditions, the chill, the burning, the poison. The poison is particularly troublesome because you end up with 15 stacks a lot of the time. And, of course, that means you take less healing, so you can't yeah. sustain unless you get the, the cleanse. So, yeah, like, uh, the, the conditions are kind of underestimated on Matthias a lot, actually, more than they should be. They are quite threatening, and that's why that resistance was just, oh. Where every fight, when Chaos Chrono was ex around, right? and was OP as hell. Uh, every boss was just so easy because you had permanent every boon in the game. It was, it, yeah. 
Uh, and, and, yeah. and the thief can kind of emulate that to mm. a certain extent. Yeah. Beyond that, are you expecting just lots of Condi stacking? You expect Mirage, basically, because it's the king of Condis as far as I'm as expecting you. CL oh to God, lose a few bad. players to Norella. They're able to get away with it, though. Uh, yeah, it's, it's over. <laughs> Do they, they have a portal? portal. Yep, there's yeah, a portal there. There's a portal there for CL. They're skipping ahead. It's a good skip there from uh, CL. You know, that's kind of their derp pedigree. You know, a big fan of portals. Uh, portal skips there yeah. uh, is uh, is derp. Yeah, and um, so uh, it, it should be almost all mirages, right? Um, for um, uh, for Matthias here, I would imagine that almost everyone is going to be relogging over to Mirage because it is just broken on fights like Matthias. Now, is it is it that the torment stack versus all of his movement, or is that also fast animations into confusion, or or a combination of both? But is it specifically that? It's a combination of both, but it, it it's more it, it, a big part of it is also the fact that just conditions are really good on this fight, and Mirage is kind of the the go to condition build at this point. Really, you know, it's that there are some fights where Renegade can shine, uh, but it's a Mirage is just so so strong in terms of condition application, uh, and um, this is a fight that is very good for Mirage as well, right? Like, um, uh, you know, and because, you know, the boss is moving around a lot, so you're proccing that Torment. His attack speed isn't the fastest, but it's decent for confusion yeah. as well. So it's an easy fight to do DPS here uh, as a Mirage player. And Mirage also I, I brings suppose, some CC too. I suppose as well, there's like a lot of micro-kiting in that encounter, right? Where if you're power DPS, you're kind of screwed away a little bit every now and then. But if you're a Mirage, you just keep range, you know, yeah. raining yeah. stuff down, right? So yeah, you can just keep attacking the entire time. Whereas, you know, yeah. if, you, if you're playing Dragon Hunter, right, and Matthias suddenly says, oh, you know what, I'm going to run to the other side of the room, runs out your Dragon Hunter trap, you're you're really sad at that point. And it's like, oh, well, okay. I guess my damage is gone. Locke yeah. are going to be able to take down Sloth here. Should be able to. And everyone alive. Why didn't they do that the first time? Well, I guess because they had a DC. Uh, but, well, CL already on Matthias now. So Locke in a hell of a lot of trouble here. They will probably not be able uh, to catch up with CL. But you never know. I, we Look. The word hard stuck has been incredibly relevant. Let's just put it like that. It has been very, very relevant here uh, on the, this, you know, the first day of the Elias raiding party, and it could, it could be one of those days, guys. It could be one of those days. Let's hope it isn't, uh, for the sake of not only us but also the teams. Uh, and let's see. Uh, hope for a nice, clean kill that we can watch. Realistically. Nice for Locke to be in this, you're looking at not just one wipe on Matthias. You're looking at like two wipes, probably, right? I, at least. Maybe, maybe oh, even yeah. three. Oh, it depends I how mean, late in the fight, I guess. That Hadouken. So, yeah, yeah, CL misplaying uh, three be. players. And you, there's a fun thing, funny thing about that. You know, you know, uh, you know how. Um, Chronomancer Shield 5 is a bit of an odd ability, right? It's like a, a moving field. Well, it turns yeah. out that the Hadouken is a bit like that, so it can actually double hit you sometimes. So there was like a 50-50 chance that all three of those players instantly died <laughs> oh, instead damn. instead of just losing 50% of their health, right? It's, a, it's a, quite an unusual ability. But yeah, sometimes it just double procs you, and then, oh, yep, yeah, yeah, you're actually just fully dead then. So they, they got away very lucky there. Remember the V-key, guys. You've got to actually hit that dodge, right, on this fight. Like, there's a lot of stuff to dodge, and if you don't do it, you're going to go in the down state. And here, the down state is the dead state. Oh, and we see it. And there it is. There's the first victim. There's one. Yeah. Oh, there might be another one coming out too. Now, t oh, 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 there's two oh, frames. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, they've only got one feedback, I think. So they were they I was just, I was just going to yeah. say, one of the advantages to having so many mirages is even if you mess up a feedback like Snow Crows, then it's okay because you have extra ones. But apparently, they didn't watch <laughs> the first ERP and they weren't paying attention. They went for the full. So they had. They've stacked this many mesmers and still only took one. They went for that yeah. much min max there. You would be safer, yeah. surely. <laughs> surely you would be safer. <laughs> That's insane. Right. Man, oh no! Oh, they're the down state. Do they reset that? Oh, uh, apparently the. Oh, I would does. easily. Yeah, yeah they. Really they are. They're going for it. They are going for it. Why grind an eight man in that situation? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was the druid apparently. Well, the druid dying. Well, I, that's I also pretty Mirage, bad. I think the mirage died too. Didn't they lose two? Or am I? No, I things? think they lost one, and then a GG came in very quickly afterwards. Why would they GG from the druid though? Just because they didn't want to do it without a healer. Well, you, you won't yeah. do it. You won't be able to do it without a healer. You're, yeah. just, you're, you're, you're at the start of the engagement as well, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. And well, no, I meant sure. I meant the first time, not the second time. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for oh, sure. I see, I see. Either way, though, as as you as you most astutely observed, Mister Wooden Potatoes. One wipe, or even two in this case, does not matter because Trio is still going on for Locke, just so far behind. And honestly, they could wipe a third time here on, on Matthias and they'd still they be absolutely fine.
Has Lock had a death on Joe? Yeah. Yep, they are down a person. Oh, oh, no, wait, hang on. Oh, death on CL side as well. Warrior falling just 20% in. What is in. going on? What oh, is going me. on? This is the late night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is the late night <laughs> memes kicking in right here. It's getting crazy. You want to put circus music in the I, I think we might need that. We need to get we need to get out the get out the custard pies, the really long shoes, and the red noses. This is looking like it's gonna be a fiesta, ladies you and know, gentlemen. What about is why don't why don't you tell us about your uh, your predictions for August thirtieth while we're waiting for these guys to uh, to get through the wing? Do you think we have enough time for that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does that not tamper with the idea of the uh, the show? I mean, I, I can if you want. I think they'll yeah. probably talk about. Well, they're going to talk about season five. I'm hoping we'll see a little something. That <laughs> oh I'll my god, that. I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'll leave it there. <laughs> they're going to talk about season five. There you have it. Right Why? there. It's exposed. Whoa. Whoa. Leaks, boys. But right, right, so some... apparently, CL are just going to eight man it. They're not going to yep. GG after yep. they lose the war. Warriors and are completely they... optional. Oh, Ooh, they might be about to die, though. Some players getting very, very low. Ooh, they get the reheal, though. They get the resustain. I mean, Locke could potentially start to think about coming back into this at this point. I mean, there, there's been, there have been, you know, WP was asking for three wipes. Well, that <laughs> happened. Uh, well, and they're going to need to get that break bar, and they do get it. Oh, and Matthias will not become a big boy because they're going to need one more reflect for that. But it looks Are like CL. Running? Oh, no. Are they running all time warps? Are there a couple of mowers in there for break bars? We see another one go down. Yeah, probably. Oh, dear. They don't really they need. They, they, it's probably all mowers. They don't really need time warp because the boon thief is there uh, for all the the big boons. So they right, should be okay. uh, they should be all right in that regard. Although it is, it's starting to look a little bit scary, isn't it? Uh, if just one Hadouk and one missed reflect here, or something like that, one missed uh, projectile destruction rather, and it's well, it's gonna start getting a little it's, bit it's dicey, not isn't gonna it? Doesn't matter though. Zane, they're still on Zane on trio. It's it's 16 minutes in and they're still doing Zane yeah. on trio. They have to kill Norella. They have to do the pre-event. Even if they get a perfect skip and a perfect start on Matthias, I, unless CL wipe now and they get to this point again and wipe a fourth time, there's no way. There's no way it comes. Block can come back. And it doesn't look to me like they're wiping even with seven people. Nope. Uh, I think you're a bit realistic there and you're probably right. Oh, a, fa a reflect doesn't work out though. For CL, let's hope they actually do have a backup. I think they probably do. That's the good news. Let's see if they have it. They are slightly destabilizing. A few players taking a bit of heat. Do they have a reflect? Well, they ooh, they may not, unfortunately. And that is another down another state. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The good news is they survived uh, that. that as well? They survived that surge projectiles. I believe it was a DPS. Yeah, it was a DPS. Tempest, I think. Oh, no, 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 yeah. sorry, Mirage. Yeah. It was a Mirage, yeah, they lost their DPS Mirage, so they're, they're still in business, they're still in business. Losing a Mirage sucks, but, you know, they've, they've got time, right? All they've got to do is not die. Matthias is uh, one of those bosses that actually gets a little bit easy when you've got a few less players, you know, less AoEs to avoid, right? Like, it's, it's harder to screw out someone else over because there are less people to actually screw over. So, it is a, it's, it's a good sign. This is a good sign uh, for CL right now. Um, you know. Yeah, I've had a lot of experiences with Matthias where you end up just grinding down like the past last 15% or so with just a couple of people still alive. But you can do it because it's quite forgiving on the Enrage on this one. And you just sort of keep going and going and going. And it, yeah, you're right. It's a bit like a seesaw. It gets a bit easier the, the worse you're doing in a weird way. As long as you get him into the last phase before too many bodies hit the, hit the floor. Yeah. Absolutely. Like once you get to a certain point, you know you can kind of get there in the end, right? Like that's the that's the important thing. The enraged hammer is very very generous on Matthias, and when you're equipped with stuff like Mirage, there's you know there's really no threat. I mean, Locke has actually progressed over to Norella, so I mean, if something goes catastrophically wrong now, well, it might be going catastrophically wrong for Locke right now. They've lost three players uh, at this point, so that's going to be another uh, death for them. But they they should be able to take down Norella. She is covered in all. She is dying pretty quickly. And it's going to be a CL win in just 2% time. Unless, oh, unless they all disconnect. There is no <laughs> way. And there we go. CL is the winner. 90 oh, minutes. It was a bit four, shaky. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. They are off. And they're off. Yeah. I mean, so WP, you're a big, uh, big fan of Locke here. Obviously, you want to bring the support. You want to bring, you know, support the, uh, support the boys. Absolutely, and I think they've got a nice clean opener here. We see them, once again, are they going opposite arms again? 
Wait, hold on. Did CL just? Oh, no, no, no. No, same, same arm. Same arm. Same arm. Same arm. So that that's not a regional thing, oh, or no, it oh, is. Uh, well, it is. Well, I mean, it is a regional thing, but they're both EU. So I mean, it's it's a, it's a bit oh, unusual. Like for, for some reason, on NA, you you often see the left arm, and CL actually did wipe. Uh, in the end, they they have actually um fallen in battle there for for yeah, whatever what reason. Yeah, what was that? Yeah, I, I didn't ca actually catch what it was that put them off on that engage. Yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not entirely sure either. Actually, I mean, if we had a, a, a replay, I think we were having some issues with the observer, and we are we are still having some issues with the observer. No, it looks like it has been rectified now. Uh, so Locke actually very far ahead now, actually, because CL having some major major issues and ending up uh, wiping there. So um, in 52 percent. Oh, yeah, how ahead. do you feel about the Reapers? They got two Reapers here. Yeah, I, I really like the oh, meme well, approach. It's 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 not it's not just uh, not just two reapers. It's actually all reapers. It's uh, five yeah, reapers. Yeah. Now, to be honest, it's smart. DPS is solid, and you've got twenty k health. You've got full shroud, decent damage. Shroud. You won't die. You will not die. Now, CL of course will probably have higher DPS as a result of this, and they'll be able to pick up the pace and catch up with lock potentially here. But I don't know. It's it's a it's a good place to be now. The the thing is though, CL may be able to capitalize on their extremely high output because the you know the Reapers are obviously not going to be able to shine much of a you know shine much of a torch to what CL is packing with those Dragon Hunters. Yeah, they absolutely are. And CL has even with a wipe has actually now taken over. Uh, and you know that really goes goes to show you like you know. Class choice does matter, guys. You know, burst is important. And Reaper is not a very bursty class, right? In particular, it has well. I, that's not exactly true. It has like a very short burst, right? Yeah, um, it's but not long enough. It's it's not long enough to kind of have that sustained burst, right? I mean, slightly a, a you know a little bit of an of an oxymoron there, but but not quite right. Like the, the kind of longer burst window of uh, of the dragon hunter really paying off here for CL and CL is actually they are annihilating conjured amalgamate. They are almost done actually. Um, whereas CL uh, just taking down the arm for the second time here. Like being able to kill the arms quickly is huge, right? Because every time he has, he has to do this long ass animation of drawing back his hand to smash right so if you're on point there it saves you so much time actually and cl uh they'll probably have this boss down very shortly they could still wipe right there are now going to be two hands smashing so a lot more ads are going to be spawning there will be a clap to watch out for but well no they saved some swords from that burn phase uh, and they're able to just get that arm down almost immediately there's one guy being targeted by the beams is he going to fall no he's right in the middle of the group and ca is going to die three two one boom ca is down very clean. Very well, we clean. seen tablet tech there as well to deal with the CM uh, CM mechanic. Yep, they uh, they have a, a renegade. Yep, they they so went for they that just, renegade to fully shut it down. Yeah, just pop the uh, reflect bubble or deflect bubble. I think it actually is right, and just leave it there. Yep. And yeah, man, this there. is a it huge difference. This is a crazy difference in speed, actually. Mm, yeah. And it, it's it's a combination of things, right? So CL was able to immediately burn Conjured Amalgamate to fifty percent, right? Uh, and that means they can kind of that that um, stops the phase and immediately starts the next one, right? Locke were unable to do that with their Reaper setup, and as a result of that, oh, they actually lose a player as well. <laughs> we have one, yeah, yeah, maybe just a tiny bit outside of the shield there, and unfortunately, is going to fall. That shouldn't be too punishing for them, though. I mean, this is the thing. They've got so much more... They've got such a longer period of time now that they'll be under duress and potentially can make mistakes now. And it's it would be such a shame to... Oh, 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 yeah. They just got no. clapped. Yeah. No. Yeah, and the arm smashes down and that. Yeah, that's unfortunately going to be a wipe. Uh, it's okay, Lock. Get back up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go to their right. Discord, WP. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Roy? Should go to their Discord, you know? Give them some encouragement. Oh, go to their Discord. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that would uh, that would give them a lot of motivation. Yeah. You can yeah. do it, Doc. You can do it. <laughs> I'm on your side. <laughs> is that is that your motivational voice? <laughs> yeah, that's what I imagine it would be. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> remember really trying to motivate someone. Wow, you wow. never tried to motivate someone. You, oh, wow. you guys are heroes. That, You're lions. World's watching you. Champions. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. You got that winner's mindset. Oh yeah, you, you know you've got to go into this with that winner's mindset. Uh, how, how are you thinking about Sand Shark here? You were talking about good omens oh, earlier. If if you one burn the Drag Shark, you win. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. Do you think they've got it in them? Yeah, CL can do it. CL can do it. 
They've had a they've had a they've had a bit of a rough run uh, throughout the tour, but they can do it 100. percent And actually, it doesn't matter if they don't do it first travel though, because the uh, what we're watching right now we're, from Luna, the warrior perspective, he's the master of getting the second bomb throw. So even if they don't get the one burn, he'll throw a bomb and actually make it. It'll, it'll try and jump up right and escape, but he'll make it immediately flop back down again, uh, circumventing the need to throw it at a pile of gold again. So even if they don't get it, uh, they'll you know they'll they'll won't lose much time anyway. Oh, but yeah, they're definitely getting that one burn. Yes, they are, and there it is. That's some damage. Wow. That's a lot of DPS, and we're going to see some relogs coming through as we move on to Lagos. Oh, wow, look at this. Beautiful. So, look at just a lovely view here of the Lagos Arena, an incredibly detailed section of the game. What this is the best look in Wing, man. This oh, Wing yeah. looks just incredible. Yeah. So many Cinematic shots you can get. So, we're just looking at Condi spam here, I'm guessing. Oh, well, I mean, there. this is... This takes the... Mirage boss concept to a level that you may have thought impossible. Mirage is <laughs> these bosses attack so insanely fast, the developers must have actually forgotten that Mirage existed to put this in the game. Mirage is oh, so dominant here. It, it, it's it's repulsive how dominant Mirage is on this fight. Like, it's going to be pure Mirages. Maybe a Necro thrown in there for a little bit of safety. Some Boon Rip maybe uh, for Canute in case in case the bad stuff happens, but it should be almost pure Mirages here. So, which of the two Lagos do you put your four-man on versus your five-man? Is there a distinction between Whirlpools or, or the other fight? Do Because they're, they're mechanically different, right? They're distinct. Do you think that there is actually one that you're more favored for having a lower man set up? The uh, you're absolutely yeah. They're definitely going to put their their team with the highest number of players. They're going to go ahead and put that on the Nakare side because not only do you kind of get timed out by the whirlpools, uh, it's also the harder boss as well. Um, the uh, dash attack is more dangerous, and so to be frank, is the uh, the bubble attack uh, as well on top of that. So yeah, they're definitely going to be doing it that way, and then they'll have a uh, Canute with only four players. Canute, I believe, even has less HP actually, so it kind of it works out perfectly, right? It works out perfectly. Wow. Yeah. Lock is standing firm here, by the way. You know, I, I'm, you'll be excited to notice. Yeah, Lock is, yeah, they're 100% in the mix. Um, and, yeah, they should be able to take down CA very, very shortly here. And that's the first... So uh, yep. Okay, go ahead. Yep. They're not too far. It's just one white, maybe two of a difference. And it's a tough wing. I would expect several to come through. You might see it, it evens up pretty quickly, right? Unless CL does incredibly well on Lagos and just keeps storming through this wing. I think that there's still a lot to play for, for both sides. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, even after all this, you've got to worry about Kadeem, right? Like, it's it's not <laughs> over do. until it's over. Like, Kadeem has, uh, you know, he has actually won the uh, the raid uh, tournament so far. Oh, hang actually, on. G, but it's it's not over until 40 minutes. Oh, what? <laughs> why, why are you saying that? Yeah, but when? that's Kadeem winning. That's 40 minutes. He, he wins, you know. That's his enrage timer. That's what he gets, you know. Yeah. It's, it's you know it's really good to see when you've got a returning player like this though, uh, Dopey. You know you've got Frostball actually top DPS there. Uh, yeah, I do so, see that. Yeah, he's yeah. no strange Mesmer. No, absolutely Popular not. Popular Osu streamer Frostball. Yeah, has returned to the game uh, for this yeah. one special tournament. Uh, yeah, the uh, Cat CL surging ahead, reaching a uh, Canute. But soon, yeah, this is just a warm-up, though. They haven't split up yet. They have not split up at all. And Locke is having a few difficulties. They have a, two deaths, I believe. Uh, but they should be okay. Conjuring Magma is getting very low. Oh, hang on. That is another death, though. There's all oh, three down. But they I think they might be able to get with it. They've got a shield. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to be okay here. It's just going to be... Uh, they just need a bit more DPS. A couple of percent. Yeah, can they it. get it? They should be able to, I think. Uh, oh, did they miss the no, 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 no. The head's down, the head's down. He does have to retarget. They got to retarget. No! They're all going down! Oh, no! 1%! Oh, G-Bot, when will you learn? Oh. To turn your mouth shut? <laughs> Every time! Yeah, 1%, man. That. Oh, oh that's rough. That is rough. The thing is, that that encounter is so modifier-oriented, right? That even 1% must represent a ridiculous amount of health to get through, right? So as soon as your swords have run out after you've thrown them, it, it, it's it, you're still looking at so much damage, right? So it might be even a little bit deceptive there. They might have been a long way off, even though it was 1%. Yeah, he, 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 he has a he really does have a huge, huge health pool, right? Lower, you know, it's, it's more... It's, it's really big, and, you know, because of the modifiers, right? But, I mean, 1% is still uh, a, a pretty pretty small amount there let's just you know let's just go ahead yeah. and, uh, oh my uh, god 
CL's doing really well here. Very comfortable so far. This is about where the heat turns on for this engagement, though, right? So if we see that they start hiccuping, it will be around now, right? They've gone into the splits. And they've got to start playing type for time. Yep. And they've got to watch very, very closely for all their movement. There's a lot of movement on this, right? But you've got to, like, avoid the mechanics and play carefully, but keep with your allies. So you retain your boons and you, you don't, you know, lose your head too much. That's what I always find on this. This is so easy to get atrophied down, right? You've got to be quick with the break bars, too. Mm, like, people yeah. don't really think about those break bars enough. But the barriers, the sustain they get is kind of nuts. You know, it's very deceptive break bars. You've yeah. just got to play. Really and it quick. pressures the other side. It applies a lot of damage. Those water splashes, right? They, they, you know, that's, you know, have you ever been hitting, hit in the face with like a bunch of water? Right? It hurts, man. Especially if it's been thrown all the way across <laughs> a room as well. It's pretty rough, right? It's not you're pleasant. If I've ever been in a water balloon fight, is well, that what you're... I mean, it's a, it is a bit like that. Except, you know, it's, it's, you don't want that to happen to you. I mean, look at that stuff. You know, it's getting hurled across. I mean, look how fast the Lagos are spinning, man. They've got some serious velocity <laughs> on those throws, right? Like they're not messing around. Now, I've got to hand it to CL here. Like, you know, there was a you know, is a little bit shaky on Matthias, but they are um, kind of showing their pedigree on wing six. It doesn't seem to be much of a threat. To no, actually, no, I'm going to, no, no, shut me up, shut me up, because someone's getting low. Um, <laughs> yeah. But no, I think you're right. I think they are doing very well. It's a strong show, and they're on the last platform now already. Uh, oh, one health bar is pretty goddamn low right now, Ooh, but in general, <laughs> even still, that was the five man side, right? Even so, if they'd had that down, it would have been recoverable. Mm. Yeah, I and mean, even even if you do lose a few players at this point, you can always kind of uh, fill out the team. Like sup suppose someone di did die on the four-player side, the five-player side could just send some reinforcements over, right, to mm -hmm. kind of pad out the DPS and make sure it stays high. Now the break bars are scary here. Can they get the break here? Because this is where you might end up with downsides. No, they are uh, able to break that. Look, someone is dangerously low. The druid is so low. Oh no, that's a death. They do lose it. He gets a good heal though, right there. But the thing is, can they sustain for the rest of this now? Ooh, that's very, very, very bad. That's extreme bad. They've got no oh. heal skills, really. Yeah, that's another death there. Oh, oh this oh, battle's no. done. They're done, though. They... Oh, this is what Lagos is like, man. I'm getting oh, man. This ain't good. Yeah, they're calling it, I think. I think they are calling it. They're going to have to go be... again. Oh, what a heartbreak moment there. Not Focus back good. to Locke here, who have their own down. But they're, you know, they're churning away on yeah. the Malcolm. They're making it happen. They are making it happen. That's a big, you know, moment for Locke, at least, so they know that they're not going to be ridiculously behind. All it would take is to clear this, and we'll see two groups on Largus at the same time. Sure, there'll be a bit of a stagger, but wouldn't be too bad. Oh, absolutely not. CL just reforming. They've moved on to, uh, you know, the first Largos yet again. Let's see if Locke are going to be able to take down uh, the Conjured Amalgamate. They're on the final arm. If they can take this arm down, I think they got some swords onto it. Can they get the burn, though? They are struggling to get the burn. That's where those Reapers are a little bit of a detriment, unfortunately. That's too many Necros. Too many, unfortunately. Oh, and there's one player getting dangerously, dangerously low. That Reaper needs to maybe get in Shroud and hide temporarily. Oh, there's going to be a Warrior. No, a Warrior's up. That is bad. That is really, really bad. And that's going to be another downside for Locke. Locke's about to get swiped by a Warrior. Yeah. Two downs. This is what we were Three downs. About. Oh no, this is Cut bad. Cut the losses and run. Yep. Cut the losses and run on this uh, one. Island. They want to go for it. No, but they're getting more downs. There's only three of them left. They're going <laughs> to have to restart all over again. Oh, this is, this is just a... too hard. It's too. Look, uh, guys, I can't believe this. I never thought I'd see the day, WP and Roy. You wanted to do slippery slubbling as well, did I, you? I made the rule yeah. set too hard. <laughs> I actually made the rule set too hard. What have I done? Uh, I've oh gone too God. far. On the camera there, I, it looked like Summer CL just fell, but I think it was just DC. Yeah, it's weird DC. That made my yeah, heart yeah, yeah, yeah. drop. <laughs> 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 no way they landed the one. See, but you know what you should have done? Instead of instead of maxing out a time limit for each wing, once they hit the time limit, you should have enabled down. Oh, that's an interesting idea. So downstate comes back after 40 minutes until oh, and then, yeah, and then they, the wing then is they try and kill it. Yeah, we might need that. That might be necessary. I mean, <laughs> you never know at this point. It is a little bit of a fiesta, but you know. Well, well, look, CL's doing very well. You know, they had they a bit of a hiccup right towards the end of Lagos, but everything else that we've seen from them is solid. It's, it's very solid. It's maybe a bit premature to say that this is too hard for them. I'd love to see them on Kadeem as well soon.
Love yeah. to see how well they do. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm interested to see what approach they take because we saw uh, the Axon's team early actually going with like a, a necro comp to boon corrupt, right? It's a, it's a very interesting little variation. Whereas normally you would expect to see something like a spell break above, right? To deny all yeah. the boons. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. don't know whether I really believe in that well of corruption there because yeah, you're you're ripping on pulse and it's reapplying on pulse, but the reapplication is if the if it if it's the so timing fast. is offset to to yeah. like slightly off, and you don't have much control over that. Let's be real, you're just gonna throw the well of corruption down and. I think that think that's a bit too much RNG for me. Um, you yeah, well, want something really solid uh, like wins. Yeah, we saw the results of that. They they struggled to get it down until they added three scourges. Then you've got three wells down, so you've got them proccing maybe three times a second as well, right? So it's, you know, yeah. Well, it how is that with timing RNG. as well? I was wondering if they were running multiple wells to chain them back to back to have a nice long window. Is is that not relevant? Is it just slam them all at once to try and keep the the stab off? Yeah, as, I'm, as I'm, as uh, yeah, I think that's what they were doing. They were just, I, I, well, not they're not always going to press them at the same time, right? So I assume they just slam them all to make sure that there was never stability. Then spamming CCs. If the bar is taking any more than five seconds, Kadim's probably just going to explode and just destroy you, right? So yeah, yeah. You, you, you've got to you, yeah, you've got to be careful about that. Uh, CL looking strong here. I'm you know I'm actually no CL looking terrible cl almost certainly going to wipe here cl very bad guild <laughs> extremely noob low dps and low sustain there well, is, uh, i'm sorry guys stream. cl they're already done cl are done actually and so are lock like both of these guilds are complete trash there is absolutely no way they can win there you go look i did it uh, you you I reigned it. it in too late. You reigned it in too late. Your bias is showing. You clearly want CL to get through, and no one's being duped. Yeah. Outrageous. <laughs> Exposed. That's another Reddit thread for you there. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I think CL has just encountered the bug. No, they haven't. Okay. Phew. There is a bit of a bug. There's a bug where if there's a CC bar going on, sometimes Canute just doesn't follow you. Right? Like, she will just stay down there forever, and then the platform sinks and you die. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah. Well. Uh, and I'm glad that that didn't happen, because that would have been another wipe, and they couldn't have done anything about it. Another down for Locke here, but they're still going. Yeah, they're going strong here. They're going strong. I, I reckon they'll be able to take this now. Uh, I I'm yeah. pretty sure. They're, they're very, very, very close to completion right now. So it and looks like they lost a chrono on this one. Oh. How, how do you think that that affects Chibot. all the Are you kidding me? They, they've... Oh, I don't want to watch Chibot. that. I don't want to watch... No. Oh, fuck. Oh. Chibot every time! Why am, why am I doing this? They, they've they've wiped, they've, they've wiped again. They've wiped again. I, okay, I'm not talking. I'm not. No, I'm not talking anymore. No, I, I'll, you, you know, know what? I know you guys want to hit WP and Roy anyway. I know you guys don't want me. I'll just, you know, I'll let. I'll just let you guys go. Like, I, I'm just they cursing. This is ridiculous. I, I should, I should not be saying this. This is, uh, this is 100 my fault. I, I, uh, I say that they're doing okay and they're almost certainly going to get No, CL, oh no, CL. CL. He's got down. There's a down state. But it's too late. But it's no, fine. yeah, they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Oh, oh. <laughs> I will stand. They, uh, I will sink in yeah. this ship. Oh, with hang you. on. Say it's fine. But yeah, they're good. They're good. Are they the? Yeah, they got it. They yeah. got it. We're gonna be seeing some reloads. So, All what right. strategy are we gonna see from CL? I am really, really curious to see what they're gonna try and pull off here. Are they gonna run with one healer or two healers? Right, that's gonna be. Um, yeah, it's very, very exciting. So, when when it comes to Kadeem CM, no downstate. We're looking at like the fiery bulls, right? Like you're out of position even slightly. That's it. You're, you're dead, right? Would you say that's the biggest new risk, or because I mean the hydro, you can kind of, you know, it's all about just positioning, right? You know, staying behind, making sure that you get the break bars hydro? quickly. I did. I said apparently oh, like the, the hydra? hydra in this wing. Yeah, apparently. the hydra. There is a hydra yeah. setup. Are you a fan but... of the hydra? So the, well, the the biggest thing I here. I think I'd have to see the hydra yeah. to know if I'm a fan of it. Oh. I'd have to. See. <laughs> okay. Want think... to see the hydra? Yeah, yeah, let's Maybe just, I'd uh... have to see multiple. Of them, you oh, know, through multiple attempts, yeah, and then would we'll see a lot of hydras. I mean, we've got a few there in the chat there. Um, you know, if you want to <laughs> take a look at those now, uh, to 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 go to the, to answer that question there with like, what's the the major threat? To be honest, the major threat is the no down state, right? Like the CM, it, yeah, is is definitely the major threat. Uh, but it also ma it makes Kadim way harder in every single way. The CM is actually surprisingly hard. Um, you got the orb, right? Kadim has got uh, some more health. He also uses his mechanics faster, so you're going to have more break bars to deal with, right? Which is which can be, which can be very awkward, actually, on um, on on CM, uh, because if you skip stability, unless you have very high DPS, you're going to get a second break bar, and you're not going to have a second bubble, which is probably why we saw the corruption strat coming out from from Metro, because they were running with um, uh, two healers, they didn't have the DPS output to actually skip the second break bar, so that's why they had to go with the corruption strat, I assume, actually. Uh, now. 
Uh, let's see what CL is. I think CL is doing something similar. I see the fire. I see a firebrand, right? No, but the Kadeem is a fight that is so easy to make a micro mistake and get punished. The lions on the ground that can just do half your health instantly, potentially downset you. The orb downsets you instantly. The shockwave is a one shot. The ads, you know, the destroyer has a one shot shockwave. The wivens have knockbacks. If you're knocked back, you can't dodge the orb when it's coming around, right? Like mm. fail any of these break bars and you are dead. Meteors landing, extra ads spawning from the destroyer. Destroyer ad, uh, you know, the platform disappearing, you know, it, there's also a really interesting kind of weird glitch on this fight where if you, if you try and jump to another platform just as it starts exploding, uh, you'll lose all your momentum and fall to your death and you can't stop it. It's really funny. Yeah, it's kind of a zero gliding thing to a, to a much lesser extent on this, you know, right near the end that you've even got like jumping puzzle that you, you are thinking about, you know, and is that's more of a threat in CM too, isn't it? Because yeah. when you fall, is, isn't it more punishing? It's oh, like you die. Yeah. Yeah, the, you know, in normal mode, right? Like, if you fall off... It's atrophy, um, it's just a bit... Yeah, Helpful. yeah. You you lose some health, and if you fall again, then you, you then you get wrecked. But um, yeah, for for what's going to be happening uh, on CM, if you fall, you instantly die. Like there is no bouncy bouncy, right? So it, it's a cool CM actually, a, a really really underappreciated CM. And then we get the lamp already being opened. Like, oh, you look at that sniping action there. But here comes the hydra. They move it correctly as well, moving over this side. It makes it a little bit easier to dodge the orb, particularly on CM actually. It's a bit awkward for the chrono, but it's not bad. Is Locke finally going to be able to take down Conjuring Manga? I think they will be able to guys it's looking really good now I, I yeah look. i was just watching that looks yeah. really solid at the moment it's it's clean everyone's alive oh the hydra just doomed out. them yeah we have just <laughs> yeah they're fucked now uh now let's see how is cl gonna deal with this break bar let's find out this is gonna be an exciting one let's see what's going on here so i imagine it will be a portal setup here i think we're gonna get that going and it's actually not a heal farm and so actually you know i was i was actually slightly wrong here this is actually a dps farm and so this is an insanely aggressive comp actually saying uh, that from the axe you just saw right yeah from the axe i just saw and also i was you know keeping on the meter there as well uh right yeah good that's a good eye there Right, but yeah, it's, uh, so it is going to be DPS for so They're going really, really, really YOLO here. Uh, so if they, you know, there's no real safety net. And that, th this will allow them there's to do the this. Wins. Right, there's the wins. They get the break, and they should easily have enough DPS to dodge the second break bar. Right, while still skipping stability. So this is looking very, very solid for CL. They've definitely got this execution down. They practice, and they, I think they've got a solid strategy that they're going to execute well. Now, CA has fallen, by the way. Oh. Or lock. Congratulations, so, oh, right. world's first. World's first. Wow, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, they were able to see how we're able to get the execution and push it to the phase. Now, what, where it does start to get scary is around here. Those destroyer ads, man, those crabs, they will pincer you, okay? Right, they are gonna pincer you. And it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be pretty. And even the lamp is, even the lamp is scarier on CM. Uh, on normal mode, they have five stacks of extra damage, like 20% extra damage. On CM, they have 10 stacks. They've got 200% extra damage on those ads. And these crabs are so scary. They can so easily downset your tank or just one of your hapless DPS players who aren't quite on point here um you know what's really interesting i i have not seen this before do you look look who is tanking here the warrior is actually tanking a uh, lunar night stalker oh, wow. is tanking everyone so i guess he's utilizing that full counter maybe a mace block maybe even shield potentially i mean luna is um uh, in particular is an incredibly strong player a genuinely excellent player so he might not even need any of that just relying on dodges uh, and just mechanics alone so um he may be able to continue functioning correctly and you actually see that he is high dps actually even while uh, engaging in this run there you go they've oh, wow i mean cl's it's dps is throw a world down yeah. yeah that's so fast yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 these guys are really popping off whoa Oh, that looks scary. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you uh, do you see much risk uh, under this format for the dead eye kite, or do you think that things pretty much go as standard there, and that's like one part of of the tournament that doesn't change from standard play? It, what do you yeah, think? dead eye kite changes nothing because you can just sit where the orbs won't hit you and just range it down. Right, you don't have to do anything mm. really. There's there's no real added risk from the dead eye kite perspective. Of course, you could end up getting one shot by something else, and that can be a bit of a risk. Uh, that's part of of the dead eye kite, but you know, the, uh, the but you gotta go to lock POV, by the way. Wait, oh, yeah, uh, I might have had to move or something. Yep, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't really follow through that. Oops, sorry, but I do apologize for that, guys. We've got to swap that over. Uh, yeah, it's because there's, there's some look, this, uh, you know, this observing the, the observer does struggle yeah, a little when, bit. Uh... When Aina enabled the spectator mode, they apparently yeah. forgot to put it in. By the this, way, uh, this we mustn't meet, we mustn't meme about that. It's not an Aina spectator mode. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what this is. Right, oh, CL taking some hits there. 
but they get the phase. They are able to get away with it. They just, I think they got hit by a little bit of that shockwave, taking some pressure, but they're able to lock it down. This is where things get really get scary, though. I, I, I think everyone knows. Everyone who's tried to pug Kadeem knows about the Wivens, right? These guys are assholes. They've got knockbacks. They've got break bars. They've got the push. And more importantly, they've got a lot of attacks that one-shot you, and you don't have enough dodges. You need some some kind of mitigation to get the job done. Now, now the thing is here, if they can break the lamp, that's when you start to think, okay, right, this is actually looking like a kill. This is looking like a possibility from CL. If they're able to get that lamp broken with most of their players alive, they're going to be very, very happy. It's every time the orb lands, man, it's getting me, dude. Holy shit. Every single time the orb. And there we go. They are going for, I believe, they're in position to open the lamp. Here it is. He wants to do it. He's waiting with the doom side. Some of you are getting very low, though. The so low, low down there. Ooh, I know, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I really want to see what's going on down there. It's unbelievable right now. It is absolutely unbelievable. Well, hopefully they're clean. Oh, look, at, the, you go. look at that the optimization. Shadow the shadow ball, but no one, they forgot to take it. Okay, they didn't forget to take it. And here's well, Zomros. Yeah. yeah. Well, in PvE, it's five. Oh, is it five in PvE? Yeah, I have yeah, no yeah. idea. I yeah, have yeah, no yeah. idea it's five in PvE. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I love that little it's trick there. Broken. That's nice, nope. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's lovely optimization there by CL. Just saving a tiny bit of time. They've got to be careful, though. The, the, because of a really unusual interaction um, with um, with how the Wyvern's tanking works, they will, he'll actually all start to attack Zomoros, which causes him to be very erratic with what they're actually hitting here. Uh, but yeah, it's very close to a pretty happy space. As soon as Zomoros has finished attacking this Wyvern, that will mean he will take over the kiting, granting them not only uh, an extra player, but also, uh, you know, a much-needed... Kind of, kind of sigh of so relief. I don't, I, I don't see much risk in this last part, right? Like, unless you're messing up the jumping, the, the, the final phase is pretty much a standard kind of burn, right? You just watch your positioning a little bit. Uh, it's feeling pretty solid, right? Yep. The, uh, in my opinion, after you've beaten the, um, the Wivens, you are... Now, look, I'm going to say this. Disclaimer, Ooh. right? <laughs> after the Wivens are dead, you're pretty much good to go. Right? Then the CM mechanic disappears, because it, it wouldn't even really make any sense at this point, right? They're going to be using a portal here uh, to skip past the jumping puzzle, right? So they're not going to do the jumping puzzle. down on Lagos, yeah. by the way. They just had it down, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's not ideal. I mean, let's see. Let's see if this is going to make... Let's see if these guys can make it happen. CL are ready to go. I imagine they have a portal set up. Ready to go, and there it is. It's open, skipping all the jumping balls because believe me, oh, you don't, I don't want to. I don't even. You don't want to take that risk. <laughs> you don't, and honestly, I don't even want to think about how many times that wiped us when we got to this part on CM progression. Man, holy shit, that was that was rough. And stability <laughs> can of course be skipped here. It can be skipped even if you don't have a, a spell breaker here, because the, that pie is a shitty one. It only gives him two stacks of stability instead of twenty-five stacks. Uh, so it is. A, it's a yeah. It's it's a weak one. Oh now. wow. I didn't yeah, realize probably. there was such a discrepancy, though. That's crazy. Yeah. You can uh, swap back to the spectate for for lock if you want to, but oh, I can. Um, but no, uh, if if CL is able to kill Kadim, is this going to be the first Kadim death that we see? It is. Yes, it is. We didn't see him fall before, so CL really. You know, I was thinking LN with a runaway doing really well, but here CL. Oh, has really, two downs really though. Oh, oh my God, CL. There's another portal. They've got another portal. That actually minimizes the, any kind of risk because they don't have to run through any of those firefalls or yeah, near the lines, true. right? So that's, that's a really good one there. But losing two players, that what can were the players? be problematic. They... It was a firebrand and a thief. So um, the firebrand can be handy. Loons. Yeah, they lose some boon output, right? But you know, it was still DPS. So they've got to make sure. They've got to make sure they do not die. To the... And there they go. There they is. get it. Okay, they oh, very nice. Boom. get the job done. Okay, catalyze. They got it. Tournament first, Kadeem CM. And, you know, I've really got to hand it to them. That was clean. If they had they actually, if they could yeah. tidy up their Lagos, that would be one hell of a wing six right there. All right. And, yeah. And, and, and who, who called that? Okay, who called that, Deepa? You said they had to watch out for Kadeem. Who was it that said they had to watch out for Logos? Please. Oh, yeah. it's true. Well, it's, yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. You know, Roy, yeah. Roy was right. Roy was correct. Yep.